Hey guys, this is Miss Ross. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. All right, so today we're doing Fan 5 Week 8, Practice 2. All right, so again, this is a multiplicative comparison. You learned these in fourth grade. Um, you need to draw the bars. If you don't draw the bars, you are not going to get it correct. All right, so here we go. Stacy has some pencils. All right, so write Stacy and give her a box that has some pencils in it, okay? Then Harry has three times as many pencils as St Stacy. So write Harry and give Harry three times as many as Stacy. All right, together they have 34 pencils. So you've got to take 30, sorry, 36 pencils, 36 pencils and divide it between one, two, three, four boxes. So 36 divided by four is nine. So put nine pencils in each box, okay? So that means that Stacy has nine pencils and Harry has nine plus nine plus nine is, Harry has 27. The question says, how many pencils does Harry have? Oh, Harry has 27 pencils. Draw the boxes, okay? They will help you to solve these. All right, here, we are gonna complete the pattern. So um, yesterday and the day before that, I talked with you about how if the pattern is getting smaller, it's either dividing or it's subtracting. It has to be doing one or the other if it's getting smaller. Okay, so if it's going from 50 to 43, there's nothing that you can divide 50 by that will give you 43. Okay, so we have to assume that this is subtraction. So 50 going to 43, it is subtracting seven. From 43 to 36, it subtracts seven again. So we're gonna keep doing that. This is a subtract seven pattern. So 36 subtracts seven. I can't set, take seven away from six, so I'm gonna borrow from the three. It turns into a two, then this is 16. 16 minus seven is nine, bring down your two. So this is 29. Then 29 subtract seven is, nine minus seven is two, bring down the two, this is 22. Then I'm gonna do it again. 22 subtract seven is, I can't take seven away from two, I'm gonna borrow from the one, I mean from the two, it turns into one, two turns into 12. 12 minus seven is five, bring down the one, it is 15. Okay, seems simple, but I'm telling you, you're gonna miss it if you don't focus. All right, for this one, we have 15 minus three times four plus nine. All right, so you have to do order of operations. So it's parentheses, then exponents starting next year, multiplying and dividing, and then addition and subtraction. It's, and for multiplying and dividing, it's either multiply and divide or divide and multiply, whichever comes first. All right, so I'm going down here and I have three operations. I have subtraction, multiplication, and addition, okay? So first thing I know I'm gonna do is there are no parentheses, there are no exponents, so I'm gonna multiply and divide first. So right here is my first section I'm gonna do. So three times four is 12. I'm gonna cross that out and then I'm gonna write in the next rest of the problem. So 15 minus 12 plus nine. Then I've got subtraction and addition left. So it's whichever one comes first going left to right. So I'm gonna go 15 minus 12. 15 minus 12 is three. I'm gonna mark that out, write plus nine. And then this is three plus nine is 12 and you are done. All right, next one is 189 divided by three. So I'm gonna write 189 divided by three. How many threes are in one? There are none, put an X there. Miss Ross, do I have to? Yes, because when we get to multiplying and dividing um, with decimals, it's gonna be really important that you understand that, that you don't put the, um, the six above the one. Okay, it's gonna make a difference when we get there. So put an X above the one, so you know you're not dividing into the one. Now how many threes are in 18? There are six. Six times three is 18, 
When you subtract, you get a zero. Bring down the nine. The new number that I'm dividing into is nine. How many threes are in nine? Three. Three times three is nine. Subtract, you get a zero. Your answer is 63. Okay. Oh, I just realized I didn't hi highlight any of my answers. So there they are. Do, 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 and oh, I highlighted that one. Okay. Next one. How many more cookies were sold on Wednesday than on Thursday? All right. So first you have to figure out Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. So I'm going to come to Wednesday. I'm going to put a little dot on it, and then I'm going to label it. I'm going to come right over here. On Wednesday, there were seven cookies sold. Then on Thursday, I'm going to come right here and put a little dot. I'm going to walk over here, and on Thursday, there were five. Well, the question is, how many more cookies were sold on Wednesday than on Thursday? Seven minus five is there were two more sold. Miss Ross is so easy. I promise you we wouldn't be giving them to you if kids weren't missing them, okay? So just bear with us. All right, so there were two more sold on Wednesday than on Thursday. All right, I hope you guys have a lovely day. You are loved. Bye.